in the last video on uh, putting some sleeves in an LS engine, a lot of people wanted to know why I didn't just pull the sleeve out or, or press it out. Uh, hang loose and we're going to talk about it. All right, so on, on the LS engine, and, and, and probably many, many more, but for sure all of the LS engines, the aluminum ones, the sleeve is cast into place. So it's not like uh, if you know about the Ecotex, the GM Ecotex, uh, they got a 2.0, a 2.2, and a 2.4. We, we used to do a lot of them for a company. And all of those sleeves, the block was, was finished board, and then they pressed the sleeve in, and then they finished the sleeve. And, you know, it's, it's much more labor intensive than just casting the sleeve into place. But when you cast it into place, you get into core shift issues. And so I saved, because the, the sleeve is never, the OD of the sleeve is never concentric with the ID of the sleeve because we talk about core shift. And so when you bore them out, they always break through on one side or the other, depending on which way the core shift is. And so you get like a, a half moon section will come loose. And so I'm gonna show you what the OD of the sleeve looks like and why you can't press it out. So this is a section of the sleeve. And if you'll notice, and this is a really thick section, if you'll notice, <clears throat> they grooved the OD of that sleeve. So the aluminum, you know, that's how it's retained. The aluminum is poured around it, and so it goes into all these little grooves, and then that traps it. But as you can see how much core shift that one had, and, and, it's, and it's always odd, you know, you, you'll bore, you know, this one and this one and it shifted this way and you bore this one and this one and it shifted the other way. And, you know, and it's just, there's no rhyme or reason wh which way they shift, but, and they're all different, but, <clears throat> but that's why you can't pull it. And so the only way you're going to get a sleeve out of a LS is, is pretty much you're going to have to bore it out. And, you know, it sucks, but it, it is what it is. But I've seen multiple people comment, just, just pull them out, and I can save a bunch of time from all that boring. And it is a ton of boring. But we usually on the on, on, on most of this stuff, the, the five threes and the LS1s, you'll hit aluminum generally right at four inches. Uh, four inch, four and 30, somewhere along in there is, is when you're gonna hit aluminum. And you'll hit it just, you know, right in the center on one spot. And uh, and it'll usually take about, I don't know, four, four and 100, four and 150 to get 100% aluminum, you, you know, so. But uh, but anyway, I thought I thought we'd just clear that up because, like I say, I just I, I don't know, man. I seen seven, eight, ten, fifteen comments about that, but but that's how they are, and uh, you know, but but all of your, uh, you know, again, just to FYI, all of your aftermarket blocks, your race stuff, the sleeve is pressed in, and that's what makes those blocks so easy to repair because you can just pull the sleeve out, and you know, even then we still bore them, bore them till they're really thin, and then we can pull the sleeve out or split the sleeve, and then you can just put a new liner right in, you know, a dark block or a Donovan or, or something like that. But anyway, I thought that would, uh, that would just clear, clear up that deal. Hope it helps. See you on the next one.